have their gray hair. Oh, yeah. yeah. and gentlemen, this is your 2022-2023 Southmoreland Marching Band.
when it comes to um, Brookshire Church. Welcome. Hopefully we're going to stay dry here over the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, thanks for coming out this evening to the uh, 2022 preview of the South Moreland Marching Band. The students have been working, uh, working really hard since the start of summer, uh, June 13th or so, with um, starting our mini camp, our Tuesday night rehearsals throughout the summer, and then the last two weeks they've been here for eight hours uh, over ten days for their annual band camp. Uh, they've worked really hard, really proud of the work they've put in. Uh, it's been kind of crazy with rain and heat and, and everything else, so they've done a great job this week and last week. Um, tomorrow, after tonight's performance, will be another performance. They'll be uh, traveling to Kennywood for the Fall Fantasy Parade. As they continue on through the season, they're going to perform at 10 football games, home and away for the Scotties. They will compete in five Pennsylvania Interscholastic Marching Band Association contests, ending with the uh, Pennsylvania Interscholastic Marching Band Association Championships at Norwin High School on October the 23rd and they'll also be performing at several parades uh, in Scottsdale and Everson. We have 18 students tonight that are taking the field for the first time. This will be their first performance in public. And we have 20 students who will be taking the field for the last time this season. That's a pretty large class actually. Before we continue on, there are three students that I need to recognize who you don't see on the field. They're actually hiding over here, but um, they've been doing a lot of work all summer long. They keep me straight and sane. Uh, most of the stuff that they do is behind the scenes. It's not seen, but they're a tremendous help to me, to the students out there, and a huge part of this team. So I'd like to introduce our three managers. Miss Gwen Appleby, Miss Bella Cicinella, and Eden McGrath. There are many students who take on different leadership roles within the marching band. I'm now going to turn the microphone over to two of them, and they've promised that they would stay on script and not improvise. Our two commanding officers, Sidney Bodenheimer and Kate Kramer. Hi. Um, can I help the script? <laughs> Our section leaders this year are drum major Joey Keppel, flute section leader Shayla Fulton, Clarinet section leader Haley Gwynn, saxophone section leader Carly Cameron, high wind section leader Ethan Bird, low wind section leader Taylor Black, percussion section leader Ava O'Sullivan, and our color guard captains Heidi Coons and Sarah Yeski. We would also I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce the band staff for the upcoming season. The brass instructor is Ben Wilcox, our percussion instructor is JJ Hutter, color guard instructor is Megan Bergswoke, and our color guard instructor Beth Hutiera. We also have our director of bands, Jamie Gore, music arranger, Jude Gore, our announcer, John Lee, and drill designer, Reed Richardson of Impact Drill Design in California. we would like to introduce our band booster president, Miss Lori Headley. Tonight, um, I would like to give a warm applause to everybody, if you could, for all their hard work and everything they've done in the last two weeks to get everything prepared for you. Thank you to the Scotty band managers, the instructors, all of the kids and volunteers that helped make this successful. Um, and also to my band booster group, um, thank you for everything you've done and everything we're going to do this whole season. <laughs> um, so I would like to introduce all of the other band booster organization board members. So first we have Joey Conway. She is our vice president and she oversees all of our fundraising. If you ever have any ideas or you need to have any questions during fundraisers, she's the go-to girl. 
we have Terry Tar, our treasurer. Anything money financial goes to Terry. And please use checks written out to SBB. No cash. <laughs> Um, we have our financial secretary, Bobby Zabrowski. She is in charge of all of the student accounts, and everything is up to date and posted in the band room if you have questions. Our uniform reps are Amy Clauder and also Pam Palagruto. Pam also is our lead chaperone, so if you have any chaperone wishes, please see Pam. And our eighth grade rep is Tracy Usher, and she is going to make sure that everybody in eighth grade knows what's going on. <laughs> with everything happening. And last but not least is Georgia Piper. She is our secretary. So anything you need, this is our group of girls. We help in the Band Boosters organization to um, support the band with any fundraising efforts, chaperoning, volunteering. We also make sure that they get items needed throughout the year. Uh, we meet every last Monday of the month at 7.30 p.m. in the band room if anybody's interested in attending, except for on holidays. Um, there's a schedule posted on the web. Any communication needs for any of our fundraising or any activities, you can get on southmoreland.net, our Facebook page, Southmoreland Marching Band 2022, and our Remind app, which will text you information. My son Chris is in his fourth year of the marching band, so um, I've been here all four years and volunteering as much as I could. And I just want to do a warm plea of asking for assistance if anybody's interested in chaperoning, volunteering for any activities. We do have um, some planning committees for senior night, the banquet, and bingo, so you can see one of us to sign up. Um, and again, Pam Paula Grudo is in charge of chaperoning, so you can see her for any of those needs. Also, we have only three nurses this year, <laughs> and if so, if anybody's an LPN, RN, PA, a nurse practitioner, we'd love to help you have you help us um, with any of the chaperoning. Just to go over a couple of the fundraising things we have going on before we get started, uh, right now we have our lottery tickets out and sell your own mums that we're going um, to be selling for the fall. We have a new fundraiser for vinyl car decal, decals, and the order sheets are up in there on the table if you'd like to grab one. Future ones are Miller's Pies for the fall, the Lala Subs, and we're going to do another lottery ticket since that seems to be what everybody likes to sell. Um, and then in the fall we'll have sell your own wreaths, Colebrook chocolates, and more to come in the spring. We have a spotty gear store opening soon from Home Run Graphics. It might already be up, but not everything is loaded onto it. So once that gets started, it'll be open for three weeks. We have a novelty table set up here tonight and also at every home game. We have multiple Dine to Donates, which you need a form for, to, for us to get that free money. And all of the forms are up on the table. So grab one on your way out, so that way you can give us the credit for your purchase. We have Susie's Cousins. Blech. Susie's Custard's coming up on August 11th, Applebee's on August 17th, Valley Dairy on August 24th, and Wishes on August 31st. We also have some food service things coming for every home game, so please stop and see them. They're also doing Dime and Doings. Amazon Smile fundraising uh, information is up on the table, so grab one of those too on your way out. Every purchase you make, we get money back towards the band boosters. Last but not least is our bingo. If you want to help, see us. So now it's time to recognize our senior Southmoreland Marching Band members. Um, whenever your name is called, if you can come up to the front sideline, we'll get you recognized. First, we have Allie McGuire. Next is Amber Yezik. Ava O'Sullivan. Emma Galbraith. Ethan Bird. Kaylee Gwynn, <laughs> Hannah Vernon, <laughs> Heidi Koontz, <laughs> J. 
Jenna Halstead. Joseph Keppel. Kate Kramer. Logan Clouter. Maddie Sherbondi. Natasha Gentry. Sarah Yeski. Shayla Fulton. Shelb King. Sky Jordan. Sydney Bodenheimer. And Taylor Black. Congratulations to all of our seniors. If you haven't had a chance, make sure you see us for our 50-50 boards and tip boards. And thank you, everyone, and enjoy the show. While these guys are setting up, we're going to just change up a little bit because we got some weather moving in so we want to make sure that they get to perform so if you give them a couple of minutes to, uh, to get set up and they can get uh, show you what they've done this past couple of weeks and while they're doing that we'll do a few of the shout outs to Tyler Usher have a great season we're so proud of you Tyler love me and Cooper to Tyler Usher, go Tyler, we're proud of you, love mom and dad. Shayla Fulton, enjoy your senior year, so proud of you, love mom and dad. To the band members, have a great season from your biggest fan, Georgia, Nebraska, Colorado. To Mr. Harris, thank you for all your hard work. To Kate Kramer, I know the rules, happy senior year, love s'mores, mom and dad. To Breezy, work those stick arms, love mom and dad. To Jessica Conaway, we're so proud of you and love watching you perform. Smile beautiful. Said Jessica Conway. Jessica Conway is amazing. We love you. Have a great season. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the voice of the Southmoreland Marching Band, live from Russ Grimfield at Southmoreland Stadium, and this is the 2022 debut of the Southmoreland Marching Band. The band's 2022 program is entitled Pieces of One, with musical selections to Kata and Fugue by Johann Sebastian Bach, Reverberations by Brian Balmages, Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap, and Baba Yetu by Christopher Tin. Whether an individual or section, each piece moves about the field. Forward, backward, side to side, bending and contorting, coming together and then pulling apart until in the end, the pieces form one. We hope you enjoy Pieces of One. Drum Major Joey Keppel is your band ready. South Moreland Marching Band, you may now take the field for tonight's performance.
right, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, because we have some inclement weather coming this way, Mr. Harris asked us if we would just stop at this.